Hello, friends. Have you ever thought about how God shares who he is, how he spreads this gospel? It's an interesting question. I mean, God is supposed to, uh, supposed to be wanting to speak to us, supposed to be wanting to connect and communicate with us. <clears throat> how does he do it? Would you believe it's the church as the main conduit? Well, here we are in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 7 through, let's see, 7 through 13. This is Paul speaking. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given to me to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold witness of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose that he accomplished in Jesus Christ our Lord. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. Now, friends, there's a lot in there for sure. It's fascinating to me that Paul says, there's two things I want to suggest, that Paul says God's intent was that now through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known. Through the church. And the manifold witness of God is that is a reconciliation, really. Paul's still talking about this cultural divide of Jews and Gentiles, and of course he's speaking about what it means to be the church in this new reality, this new humanity. And in Ephesians especially, he's, he's describing in the first few chapters what it means to be individually come to faith, but then what also does it mean to be a group, to be a church of people of faith. And so the first thing he says is that it's God's intention that the church is to be that manifold witness. The church is to share what God is all about and what is to do. It's the church's job to speak about who God is. And it is so important to Paul that he speaks about this and he is in prison. And he says, don't be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, church in Ephesus. They're your glory. Now, that sounds not a sentence I would write. <laughs> but what he's trying to express, I think, is saying this is all worth it. All of my trouble and my trial is worth it because you're the church. And the church is doing and has to do what I want most, Paul says, which is to preach the gospel and to be that witness. So, above all, this was crucial to Paul, that the church would be the witness to who God is. And so that bears the question now, in this uh, virus crisis, this uh, natural, political, and social dilemmas and catastrophes, how does the church share this gospel of who God is. Well, we do it the same way we've been doing it for millennia. We gather together and worship. We do it online. That's uh, not ideal, but we do it. And we do it, why? Not because it makes us feel good or it encourages us. It does, it can. But we do it because we're the church. And we we as the church need to be a witness to Christ's goodness. What other ways can we do it? We look out for people in the church. There are some wonderful people in our congregation who have simply taken the opportunity of quarantine to take our um, directory of church members and call people they don't know, get to know them, check in on them, and say hi. Wow, that is the church being the church. God bless them. That's incredible. That is a way we can witness to the manifold goodness of God. Lastly, there are ways to serve, friends. Oh, you better believe it. There are ways to serve. Individually, we can find creative ways. I've seen things on Facebook where some of our members in our neighborhoods are simply come out 
into their driveway with lawn chairs to speak to each other and their neighbors. That is a wonderful thing, just to be socially present, socially responsible, but socially present to speak and engage with others. But also there's giving, uh, uh, there's ways that we can provide for people, there's ways that we can uh, contribute out of our own means to support others. Our church, through several of our leaders, are uh, sewing masks together, and trying to get them to hospitals and other things. St. Jude's Episcopal Church of Fenton is having a, a, uh, a bread drive and a cereal drive. A, buy an extra a box of cereal and an extra loaf of bread and drop it off behind the St. Jude's Church uh, on your next shopping trip. That is a way we can serve. And that's a way we can be the church. It is God's intention that even in the midst of a virus crisis, that God's going to use the church to express to the world who he is. Friends, let's joyfully go to work and be the church. Remember, the kingdom is here, the kingdom is coming, and the king reigns. God bless you.